Hi, everyone, along with Eddie Oldjack, Ray Ferraro coming up in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich, and we have a situation here where a series might end tonight. Put yourself in the position of the team facing elimination. They're away from their home fans. Can't be easy. It is not, Doc, and, and I think talking to the team and the coaching staff is that I think that they're in a pretty good place. They realize that there is no tomorrow, and sometimes players and coaches react a little bit differently when their backs are against the wall, and certainly for this team, they are up against it. The Jets got to lay it all on the line in this elimination game. They have to play on their toes. They need to dictate the terms. They cannot be on their heels or their season will be over. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. His team has seen success, could close this out tonight, but they can't take the pedal off the metal. They'll need to play just as hard if they want to take this one out. He comes into this one with a chance to finish the series. Let's see what he can do. What are these two teams going to bring us? Let's just see. Monahan's ready for the opening faceoff for Calgary. Shifley's opposite him for the Jets. The playoffs, the best time of year, and we begin. Mike Emery here, Eddie Olchek next to me. Eyesight is Ray Ferraro. Directing that one to Shifley. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Got it all. Thoughts now from Ray Ferraro. As you can imagine, a really energetic crowd. You can feel the energy down here on the ice. Thanks very much, Ray. Solid win of the draw. Laid on to Truba. Shoots. That puck hit him on the way to the net. And now it's directed to Goudreau. Passing one off now to Lindholm. Sends to the point. Good job defensively done there. That takes some pressure off with that defensive play. Calgary's on the move up the wing. It's dumped in. What a play. He stole it. Moves it to the shadow of the board. Swept on the Truba. Can't get it on net. Well, that's a good scoring chance. He's trying to be too fine, trying to pick the corner. Sometimes you've just got to shoot it at the middle of the net. Takes that pass. The Truba. Pitching it to Ehlers. Steps in from the neutral zone. Pitching this one to Bennett. Hammers his way up the wing at neutral ice. Gives it over to the point. Handled with the stick. That's the end. Good work by Bennett. A shot. Saved with the pad. Picked up by the defense. Slid to Ehlers. He cut that one off in the defensive end. Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. On to Ehlers. Drives behind. Long lead pass to Cherot. Shoots one. Those big pillows on his legs came in handy then. Good job on the draw. The Flames continuing on through center ice. Shoots one. Wonderful save on a terrific scoring chance. Over seven minutes skated here in the first. Both teams are still looking for their first strike. Off that faceoff from the tie-up, the help came. And he dumps it in. The Flames, in their own end, in possession. Puck is thrown to Froelich. Makes that play deep. To Perot. Pass attempt to Roslovic. Lost possession there. Up to the point. Here's a one-timer. Wonderful stop. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play.
Critical face-off win at that point. And a save. Collected by Myers. The Jets in their own end controlling play now. Shoots. Big point blank save there. The goaltender shuts that one down on a superb opportunity. Chipped in, and they'll change lines. It's dumped in. Has it in his own end. Calgary's along the wing at center ice. Oh, the pass just didn't work. Gives it to the point. In the slot. Terrific save with no reaction time whatsoever. Snapping a pass to Lowry. Is able to move on in. A rocket. Blockered away. He hangs on and gets the whistle. Mike Smith, an original draft pick of the Dallas Stars back in 2001. He was a fifth round draft pick, the 161st player taken, but he spent the majority of his career with the Arizona Coyotes. That's a solid face off win. Receives that pass from the other side. And sent down to Line. To the point it comes. Presses that attack. They've got all the gunners out. Knocked off the puck. Got to clear it. The Flames have it along the side at mid ice And he dumps it in. Outlet up the middle to Roslovic. Terrific determination by Brody. The Flames have gotten to the neutral zone. Chip to Giordano. Has it back deep. Looking to Wheeler. Brings it in for an attack. Dealt with in the corner by Wheeler. Skill play by Backlund. Shoots one. Just missed the net. That was a dangerous chance, but unfortunately, we don't use soccer nets in hockey. Let's it go. Well done with that pass. And freezes play for the whistle. Smith's able to get across and follow the man advantage break. The puck doesn't move fast enough, and he's able to sniff it out. Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Winnipeg's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. This was okay about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. The Flames have practiced the power play feverishly this week. Let's see if it pays off. So their first power play gives them a chance to get one on the board here. And that one is cleared for time off that penalty clock as they drop back and wait for another rush. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. The poke check worked. The Jets are skating it up at neutral ice. It's dumped in. This is going to have to be a lot better than the first minute. That has been ugly to look at. No pucks to the net. The goaltenders had a virtual holiday down there. Takes that pass from the other point. They will get a breather shortly, but what will happen next? Moving it to Connor. Skates it into the zone. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. You talk about a five-tool player. That's one of them. What a hit. Trying to go to Buffalo. Directing that one to Little. Puts one on. Made that stop. Period one has been finished. No entries on the score sheet whatsoever. Perhaps that will change in the second. We'll just have to see. Which one of your team players has the hardest shot? Who do you 
think is the fastest skater. Calgary's a physical team that has certainly played that way in this first period. As we see this one one more time. Back after this. We are in the early stages of this game, about to begin the second period. Your thoughts on the first? Well, first off, Doc, the goaltenders were very good. A couple of real tough saves at either end. But this might be one of the games, Doc, where the first goal definitely wins it. The second period of our contest has just now begun. Somebody is going to score sometime, maybe in this period. Wheeler's got to try to simplify his game there. Just too much stick handling. Lindholm's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Winnipeg's been assessed a minor penalty. Two minutes and the call is tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. Calgary's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. They've been on the power play before. It's not been very effective, but they get another one handed to them here. Shoots. Terrific point blank save. A timely save. That is tremendously tremendous. Well, that's not challenging in the least. The goaltender's able to make the stop. He's got a clean line to see it. There's no challenge there. The Flames win that faceoff. Save! Cleared out of the zone. They get ready for another attack on this power play. Propelled to Hannafin. Calgary is looking to head man up the wing. Nicely received at the point. From the slot of Rister. Great glove save. Winnipeg's fans sitting behind their net got up and showed their respect by bowing to him after that huge save. Just under three minutes play. Nothing up on the score sheet yet. They took that draw and won it. Broken stick, rotten luck. Winnipeg's gotten it back out. They check the clock, get ready to defend. The Flames are driving it from the wing. Scooped up by Ben. Good position in the slot. Smart recovery by Bennett. Great shooting lane. Terrific shot, but a great point blank save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Rock to the glass. Puck collected. And now it's directed to Ehlers. Picks it up back there. Passing one off now to Bennett. Pitching it to Connor. Laid on to Cherot. Right to the point. Turned a shot on net. Great save. Lose, but he found it. Flames need to acknowledge their goaltender after one of the better saves you will ever see. Somebody get this guy a pasta visual. Puck drop, tie up, and help from the winger. The Flames are given a hooking minor. Uh, more times than not, Doc, anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. The Jets will have the man advantage, and this is their first one of the game. I love going on the power play early in a game. You get to handle the puck, you get to make some plays, really get you into the game. Gives it on a cross from the point. Great job on a cut pass. Points it. Cut strong play. Quick shot. Blocked. 
Caught that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. He beat everything but the post. That puck is loose. No luck getting through that. Winnipeg's power play did not do it for them. Loud pad save. Loose puck, not stick handled well there. Waits from the corner. Feeds the point. Controlled through the middle. Pitching this one to Monaghan. Shoots it off. That puck struck him in front. the curtain. Puck is thrown to Connor. Has it picked up. Calgary is in the neutral zone along the wing. And he dumps it in. Pass attempt to Morrow. Loose puck. Good defensive denial. Play stopped. That puck is just him. As soon as the shooter drops his head to release the puck, he's already in the butterfly, and so he can turn that aside easily. Calgary's got a face-off win. Boy, stick-to-stick -stick artistry there. He's got it and moves ahead. Winnipeg's hoarding the puck at mid-ice. Good intercept in his own end. Snapping a pass to Brody. Slid to Morrissey. Looking to Perot. Gathered up again by Brody. Moving it to Neal. Calgary's winging it at neutral ice. It's dumped in. Trying to go to Cobb. Shutout positioning by Brody. Taken up near the boards by Neal. On to Brody. Leads that charge into the zone. Good job done with the stick. Way to break up that play. Good shooting place. It's Kitty cornered in. Directing that one to Cobb. Chip to Cobb. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Puck loose because of that hit. Now it's directed to Lindholm. Perfect pass! He's got it. To Buffalo. The Jets have it at center ice. Reads the play and keeps it. Steps across that line. Enormous hit. He's crushed. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Passing one off now to Buffalo. Looks ahead to start something. Pitching it to Backlund. Lindholm's hooked on the play. There will be a penalty. Winnipeg's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. Well, what he was trying to do is trying to get the puck, but unfortunately for him, he reached in and hooked around the player. Off to the penalty box he goes. They moved the puck around beautifully on a power play. Just nothing to show for it. Absolutely. I think you're right, Eddie. Let's see what the team does here. They didn't take advantage on the power play earlier in the game. Let's see if they can jump on the board here. Pitching this one to Kachuk. Players tired, about to get a rest as we go late into the second period. Shoots one. Oh, a close call there. Coach is always told to hit the net. He was trying to be way too fine with that shot, and unfortunately for him, skates away empty-handed. Calgary's waiting to get things organized in the defensive zone. Winnipeg's given a minor here for tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. It is a five on three for a brief time, but still 
a two-man advantage, and the faceoff will start it off. You're right, Doc. This is a big advantage here. Five on three on the power play. It's one you have to capitalize on. The Jets get two for delay of game. He was trying to play it off the glass, but he missed. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five on three power play, and it begins now. You don't get too many chances like this, Doc. A five on three power play. The key is to be aggressive, get the puck to the net, make those three penalty killers move all over the place. That wasn't a very dangerous opportunity at all, but to be sure, the goalie drops to the butterfly and turns it aside. Two periods have been played, and so, as we think back through the first two, we think ahead toward the third. Let's check out the shots on goal through these two periods. 14 for the Flames, and 10 for the Jets. Hey fans, be sure to get your season tickets now. The Jets are being held in this game by their goaltender. It would be decisively against them without him. Here's an example of his work as we go to break. Period begins with one team still short. The penalty kill continues on this faceoff. Shot! Great point blank save. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. Slides it to the point. Propelled to Giordano. He missed the net. I don't care how hard you shoot the puck. You can't miss the net that badly. The Jets are going to the box for two minutes, and the call is tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. The player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. Calgary's special teams have been special. Let's see if they come up big here. It's a two-man advantage, and it's not short. After an ineffective power play earlier in the game, let's see if they can get a little more organized, get the puck into the zone, and get it on net far more frequently. Gets across, looks over his options. Gets it in the corner. Here he comes. Save. Save there. Did not get anything up. That one's to him from his goaltender. And he gains the zone. Flings it. Waffle boarded. And yet another save. How does he do that? Amazing reflexes. Puck free. Many yards gained to Morrissey. Calgary's power play has failed. They are perfect in an odd way. Intercepted that one at an important place. And it's a good pickup. Puck is thrown to Little. Pass attempt to Connor. And possession has changed. Brilliant move on that pass. Terrific determination by Brody. Carries it on in from center. Snapping a pass to Truba. Right there, but can he get it out of harm's way? Very important steal for him. Left some straight equipment on the ice with that one. To Neal. And he dumps it in. Looking to Cherot. Winnipeg's back in its own end, trying to work forward. He slowed down a bit, and there'll be a hooking penalty called on this one. The Jets guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade. Just a hook. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, 
you're going to the penalty box. Calgary's power play has had many opportunities, just not much success. Maybe that'll change. Gets penalty to number 17. Nice face-off work. That one slung back out. Still more time on the power play, but less than they'd hoped. Laid on to Neal. Moving it to Hannafin. Canes that offensive line. Has that one measured in his own end. Cleared it back out of there. Calgary's controlling play now in the defensive zone. A slot wrister. Perfect tip by the stick. That's terrific goaltending. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Calgary is quick on the draw. On the outside, a shot. Score! A goal on the power play. Now that the scoring's been opened up, We'll see if the opponent can punch their way back into this game. You can't be back at your heels too long. Calgary's broken the tie here in the third period. Let's see what happens before time expires. And they take that neutral zone face off. By number 13. Gathered up again by Hammond. It's dumped in. Trying to go to Buffalo. Directing that one to Ehlers. Slid to Ehlers. Oh, great cut. The Flames would like to keep this donut on the board all the way to the end. Their goaltender has been outstanding, and they've had a terrific night. And now it's directed to Connor. Carried on, dumped in, player changes, this time just the forwards. Continuing to move behind the net. Not a free puck now. Passing one off now to Ehlers. Looks from the corner. Puck ricocheted off the screen. Crosses that line from the outside. Deflected off the blocker. Ran into the defense. He's lost it. Pitching it to Perot. On to Roslevin. Can't get it on net. We sometimes forget the speeds these guys are playing at, but accuracy is a key in creating chances. I think this is a good point to hear from Ray Ferraro. Winnipeg's going to rue these missed chances. They've had so many from good spots on the ice. They've missed the net so many times. They've done nothing but hurt themselves. I don't know if you believe in omens, Ray. Maybe they do, that maybe it's got to turn around before the game ends. The Flames with a face-off win. Calgary's continuing on up the wing. Gathered up again by Bennett. Oh, deflected away. To Roslovic. Pitching this one to Perot. Wow, what a hit. Big padded shoulders. Oh, he got thumped against the boards. The glass is still rattling. The Jets in their own end controlling the play. Chip to Roslovic. Carried to the corner boards by Morrow. The puck picked up here. He takes that point pass. Wonderful block. Moving it now in center ice. In with it now. Puck is thrown to Line. Got it at the point. Puck loose. Strong defensive play by Stone. Propelled to Ryan. Laid on to Neal. Hits the post. Pass attempt to Cobb. And he steps across the line. Holds in the corner. Snaps one. Wonderful chance to score, but no. 
Approaching the final minute in this game. Cut that pass in his own end. Oh, I can see what he's trying to do there, guys. He wants to make a play to try and turn this game back around. They're trailing, but he forces the puck in, and he turns it over. Calgary is in possession now as they move up the wing. Puck loose now picked up. Gains the zone. The Jets empty their net. He's at the bench. The Flames look to make a difference up the wing. Net open, not on the net. Tremendous hit. Monaghan's skill is known throughout the league, but when he throws his body around, everybody takes notice. Solid work there by Brody. Snapping a pass to Monaghan. Got his pad on that one. Only a few seconds separating this team from a trip to play for the Stanley Cup. presentation of the Clarence Campbell Bowl, named for the longtime president of the NHL. It goes to the Western Conference team that goes to the Stanley Cup final. And there it is. Will they touch it or not? There's superstition here. So as the tournament rolled on, energized play ended only by a final horn. Good night from all of us. <laughs>